What's up guys, it's your boy Jifty here back today again with another video. In today's video is pretty chill. We are gonna open up some entertainment cards which are carded, sort of, yeah. So we're gonna let them loose, right? Because I really wanna make space, you know, and make my... Oh, my room is just too cluttered, man. So I took those down. Today we're gonna open this right up. So let's loosen up this car. Starting with the first one right here, which is right in front of us. So back to the feature two. Yes, I do have all three. I'll show them later, but here's the first one. Pow! Just crack it open like that. There you go. So this is uh, among the three of them. This has got to be my favorite, man. I love how Hot Wheels gave this uh, stand. It would come to think uh, that maybe they'll put wheels underneath so they can roll, just like the main line. But don't. No, that's not the case. It comes with a Hot Wheels stand with a Hot Wheels logo. Pretty nice. Even my friends liked it when I brought it to school. So check that out. I'm gonna put them nicely here. Then this one just uh, I don't know. Let's throw them on the floor. Next is the GTR from the Gran Turismo right here open them up crack it open and yo this is really sick man i think this is uh when this first came out not a lot of people uh, were uh, scalping it surprisingly i mean i kept this was easy to find when it was released in 2016 2017 i forgot but yeah i'm happy to have found this it's really cool gtr looks almost like a speed machine but with rubber tires like, like the black paint and whatnot yeah this is really sick check it out Next up, another Gran Turismo car, the Lamborghini Veynino. Pam, yellow color right here. What's, uh, oh yes, uh, you know, the, this is the thing that really sucks about this car is the, the, red, the red light, the real light tempo is only the black straight part. It's supposed to be in these uh, sides right here as well, but yeah, Hot Wheels being Hot Wheels. But here's the car itself. Uh, pretty uh, alright, I guess. I, I would have preferred if this was a plain Veynino, but obviously this is meant for the Gran Turismo series, so we need some racing liveries. It's still a pretty sick looking Lambo. Here it is. Not bad. Love the yellow paint or orangish paint, I guess. Here it is. Then we have the BMW CSL race car here. This one is awesome, man. I think out of the five, this is my, one of my favorites. The livers on this one is hella cool. Look at that. Five sided decals. Racing livers. The BMW stripes. Really, really nice. And the rubber tires. Pow. The next up is a car I don't even know why I have. <laughs> It's a Plymouth uh, Bellevard. Um, I've never watched Tommy Boy. I'm not really a fan of Plymouth, but I think this was on sale. It was like uh, there's like a buy. It was on sale. I remember it's like 70% off or some stuff. I don't know, but here it is, and it's a pretty sick car. And the wheels themselves are nice. If I ever get into custom, this will probably be a wheel donor. But for now, for the car, it is. It's a decent car. It's a decent car, especially for how much I got it for. And I love the the hood. Yeah, I just noticed that the hood is matte black. It's like uncovered. It's supposed to be a convertible, but it has like that uh, texture where it, where it has that convertible uh, roof that you always see on uh, convertibles. Man, that's a nice touch. All right, so let's uh, throw these packages down the floor. And then we have the Porsche 356 Speedster. Oh, this uh, is this my least uh, favorite. I don't even know why this was in the set. This has nothing to do with. Forza, I think I made a, a review of the set, so I'm not gonna linger on too longer. This car is not that pretty, I guess. I, I don't know, maybe it's the color or the car itself. I know some people uh, are a fan of this car, but it's just not my liking, so I'll put that aside. Next is a uh, Batmobile. It's just called Batmobile. I, I wish that Hot Wheels would have been less lazy when it comes to naming their Mat Batmobiles. Like, I know this is the... Uh, from one of the bat mo Batman movies, I forgot, but oh, yeah, it's really cool. I'm not a huge Batman fan, but this is cool, and I got it because it was on sale as well. Uh, not bad, not bad. Very nice uh, articulations, especially for the shape of the car. Hmm, pretty sick. Then another uh, Ford's car is the Ford GT Race. As a Ford fanboy, uh, you know I love. You guys know I love my Fords. But I remember in the review I mentioned it, oh, that it doesn't have real light temples. Yeah, it sucks, man. But despite that, I like the reviews on this one. Pretty cool. It's a cool race car. Pow. Then uh, the Gas Monkey Garage. Oh, this thing is hella sick. I know that the Hot Wheels re-released the car, right? For the uh, the square carded cars. Uh, I don't bother getting that one because I already have this one right here from the entertainment series so look at this pretty nice the chrome especially has the real light temples it's almost like the mainline version except it has rubber tires and a metal base but still i think the rubber tires is especially important makes the car look 10 times better mm, it's tasty 
Oh, next is uh, Halo, right here. Oh man, Halo. Uh, I'm a fan of Halo. For those who, uh, I think I've played the uh, Halo <laughs> with Rival Racer and uh, Feel before. It's a really fun game. Uh, I think I'm like I'm level 146 now. The, the max level you can play Halo is uh, level 152. I've been playing for almost one and a half years, or almost two years, and I can't get to the max level. It's really hard. That's how much I love the game. I play that game almost every day with my friend. Yeah, but here's the war thug. As, uh, my friend is good at shooting, so he always ride the turret. He always shoot the turret while I drive the war thug. We make a good duo, man. Like, real talk, real talk. So yeah, this is a really cool car. Maybe I should get him a war thug. He doesn't, he doesn't collect hot wheels, but yeah, I think I'll get him a war thug in the future if I find one. So here it is. And then another Forza Motorsport car is the Pagani Huayra. Uh, this one right here is an error. Turns out this is supposed to have front light temples, but the one I got doesn't have front light temples. If it had the front light temples, I think uh, this car would have looked like uh, so much better, but it doesn't have the front light temples. But it is an error, but now that I've obviously opened the car, I can't sell it as an error car because people might think I rubbed off the temples. But not a, bit, not a big problem. This is a sick looking Pagani Huayra. I almost have all of the Pagani Huayras except for the at this point the Hot Wheels ID and the first release grey. Pagani Huayra, I think I might want to get my hands on that. Yes, I know I stopped collecting, <laughs> but yo, the Pagani Huayra is a sick car, man. Sick car. Now, uh, what do we have right here? The 58 Plymouth. Yo, from Christine. I haven't watched the movie yet. It's about a, 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 I think like ghost that can control cars and something like that, right? I think the premise of the movie sounds interesting, but I haven't really gotten to watching it. But yo, this is a sick looking classic car right here. I, I'm not really a huge fan of classic cars you can see like all those tail fins kind of car but this one in particular is really nice oh, look at that that's not oh, the white walls bonus points in that one and the white stripes white roof oh man now that it's out of the package it looks so much better oh. all right next is the alpha romeo giulia sprint gta grand theft auto and no, i'm just kidding i have no idea what the gta stands for but oh this is beautiful man uh, right here for the for the set, uh, I think the hot piece was the Gallardo, right? And maybe the Ford GT, or maybe this one. I don't know, but yo, this is sick, yo. I know that uh, this has been released in car, the Cars and Donuts and the uh, Euro Speed, but I guess people don't really like this car. But I like it. It's a unique. It's a unique casting, especially in this livery, the Forza livery, especially this, <laughs> the Italian stripe. Nice touch, pretty car. <coughs> Alright, another Forza, Porsche 911 GT3 RS, uh, this one's decent alright, uh, it's the Zamac right, it's a uh, Zamac, I wish they give given this Porsche a, a more striking livery, this is rather plain, you can see just a red top, then on the side there's only a Forza livery but that you can barely see, yeah, it's the front of real light tempos, I guess, but yeah, this car could have been so much better, I mean the car itself, this Porsche, really cool, but yeah, Hot was uh, kind of... F fell flat on this uh, casting right here. Ah, yeah. All right, the next up, another Forza car, Lamborghini Gallardo, super Leggera, Leggera, Loggera. <laughs> oh, look at this. Uh, the funny thing about this car is the axles. They're kind of long. You can see that the, you can see like the axles is almost popping out of the wheel. Yeah, I think this is for my particular Gallardo. But yeah, you can, other than the black, uh, uh, the axles, this is a sick Gallardo, man. Black, Xbox liveries, and Forza Motorsport. Pretty cool. Even front and rear light samples. Alright, then the Ford GT. Oh, yeah, I have it. Yo, this is probably my favorite in the Forza set for that year. Oh, yeah. so, uh, not because it's just a Ford GT, but I like the clean livery in this one. Just blue and white. It's the front light samples, rear light samples, you name it. It does suck that it has an enlarged rear wheel, but you guys get it. It's a really uh, clean car, very nice. Just one final spin. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yep. Yeah, so so far it's a pretty chill video. So I think you guys already get the talk. If I'm talking less often than usual, yeah, that's because it's a chill video. You guys know me. Yeah, so yep. Next is the 67 Camaro. Uh, the hot piece, right? Uh, when it comes to Camaros, if it doesn't have the number 67, people are not going to care about it. Because <laughs> uh, this is the hot car. Uh, funny enough, this is also an error. If you guys zoom in on this one, do you see the front? It's like not fitted to the car properly. I tried to squeeze it in. Uh, you can see I tried, there's some plier marks there. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Ah, oh, man. 
maybe next time if I can uh, drill it apart and put it properly, you can see it's slanted there. Yeah, it sucks, but man, this car itself is pretty slick. If I can find one for a good price, I'll probably just like sell this off and then keep the new one. Cause this is a nice looking Camaro, man. Especially the Goodyear tires. Looks good on this Camaro. Looks good, looks good. Next is a car that I'm not sure why I have. It's a Toyota 2000 GT Roadster. Uh, it's from the James Bond, the only y Yolt. Instead of Yolo, it's Yolt. Um, it's a nice car, but I'm not really a fan of like Roadster in particular or the 2000 GT. Hell, I'm not even a fan of James Bond. I don't remember why I bought this car, but here it is. It's alright, not bad. Then, oh, there you go. The other two Back to the Future cars. Here's the Back to the Future 3, 1955. Nice. Zamek. Yo, this is really cool. Then the white walls, red grills. Uh, it's pretty much the same as the first one. Just some uh, different uh, uh, modifications. For example, on the top right here. Oh, it's the, the cars are buried somewhere underneath the pile. Sorry, boys. But yeah, it is what it is. It's not bad. And then the last one right here is the Back to the Future 1. You can see this is the first version. Alright. Oh, yep. Yeah, the first one is still my favorite. Or maybe the second one. I don't know. They're both good, alright? I'm a huge... I'm, a, I'm not a huge fan. I'm just a fan of the Back to the Future. Like, yeah, it's a really cool movie. Uh, hopefully, they don't remake it or anything. They will totally ruin the franchise. <laughs> but yeah, the DeLorean, man. The DeLorean. So there you go. Oh, ma. Sorry for the cut right there, folks. Just as I was cleaning up my stuff i realized i had more cards right here which came from there all right so let's get right to it now. let me just bring this up on the table oh man i'm hurting my back right here yeah welcome to the gif3d channel where yeah everything is pretty chill here you know i'm no professional editor or anything so yeah this is my channel i can do whatever the hell i want <laughs> all right so anyways first right here is the amc rebel machine all right here you go. It's a cool car. Nobody cares about this. Next is the Kenworth <laughs> W900. Uh, I mean, I don't collect trucks. Alright, but a Hot Wheels truck? Now, that's uh, very unique. So, that's one of the reasons why I bought it. But it's a cool It's a cool looking truck. It's a really cool looking truck. Black and gold. And it's from Smokey and the Bandit. Though I have not watched the movie. As for most of the cars in this video, I've never watched the movie. It's a really cool looking truck. Then we have the BMW 2002. Looks awfully similar to the BMW that is this one right there. There you go. It's a pretty nice pair. Pretty nice pair. Though this one has the uh, black wheels. I think it looks so much better. The black wheels. The wheels on this one looks. Look at it. It's a flat kind of rubber tires. This is my least favorite wheel rider wheels. They look really ugly. This one is the coat. It's the molded wheels. Looks so much nicer. Really, really love the uh, livery from BMW. It's really nice. The next is the Ghost Raider Charger, Bam. right here. Uh, muscle car, yes please. Removing parts, yes please. This is a cool looking car. You can remove the base. I'm not gonna bother removing all of the parts. Uh, you guys can search it on YouTube. Yep, this has uh, removable parts and whatnot. And although it has orange wheels, I think it's really, really uh, bizarre casting when it was first released like and Hot Wheels has not released anything like this before and it's really it's a really cool take by Hot Wheels on the entertainment light uh, this car then this one also was released uh, the Punisher van another bizarre uh, casting by Hot Wheels it, it kind of sucks that it's underappreciated like from what I've heard like there's not much uh, hype surrounding these uh, cars like Dodge Charger and this van because they're not JDM but damn like this has moving parts it's a really cool uh, piece by Hot Wheels you know you can move this right here and not to mention the Punisher van itself is actually a pretty decent casting I'm no van a uh, fan of, I'm not a van fan myself but it's a really sick car or van pretty neat pretty neat all right then next up is the Morris Mini from the Forza Motorsport line uh I have no idea why but I have like 10 or 11 of these uh castings in this uh, my collection uh not the same car like i have the different variations and i'm not even that huge of a fan of the morris mini line but i have them so i guess collect it right i don't know i mean it's a cool car it's driven it's driven by mr bean and it has a removable base yes i bet i bet some of you uh your jaw dropped when i'm just as i did this yeah i bet some of you didn't know that yeah that's the wonderful uh you know 
thing about this channel. Sometimes you learn stuff that uh, you didn't know, including that right there. So I bet some of you are taking your Morris Mini right now to remove the base. Ah, go ahead. <laughs> Next is the Lamborghini Huracan LP, right there. Yeah, uh, the, the, the thing is uh, some people wouldn't expect it. New collectors didn't know that Hot Wheels did that quite often on their mainline cars. Uh, removi removable bases. So yeah, it's not like they put on the card art like, yeah, you can remove the base of the Morris Mini. So yeah, I guess that's that. Uh, but yeah, this Huracan right here. Uh, love the flower wheels. Uh, the livery is quite messy. I know, it's, I know it's supposed to be a racing car. It's still cool. Just the livery is a bit messy. Maybe that's why some people didn't really bother buying this. But it's a cool... Decent Lamborghini. Next, oh man, Nissan Skyline GDR. R.I.P. Paul Walker. I think out of all the R34s, this is the best one, man. This is the best one. It's plain blue rear and front light tempos, straight to the point. Really sick R34. Did I need, did, need I need to say more? Nah, -uh. look at that. Pretty car, pretty car. Then we have the Nissan Silver S15. This is also pretty as well. Uh, you know, if I were collecting, if I had the mentality right now, honestly, this is this would have been the only car I would have bought from the set. Cause you guys know me, I told that I really just want to buy cars that are really really nice. The Huracan and the Mars Mini and the other cars they saw just now, they're they're pretty cool. But this is the sickest out of all of them. I uh, love the body kit, nice wheels. They use the new JDM wheels on this one, and it's a pretty clean car. There's not too much things going on in the car. It's just pretty clean, right there. Just some simple decals. Oh, this Sylvia is sick. And the last one right here is Deadpool. I'm not a Deadpool fan. I'm not really a huge Deadpool fan. I watched the movie. It's funny. But uh, <laughs> you gotta check this out. This is the quick bite casting. It has Deadpool inside of it. <laughs> it's cool, man. This is a really... Uh, yeah, this is probably the best uh, entertainment series, right? So the Deadpool, the Dodge Charger... The Punisher van, yo, that was one of the best entertainment releases by Hot Wheels for that case. Because this had uh, this one as well. Really, really sick. So check that out. Yep, so alright. So yeah, uh, that was uh, all for, for the additional cars. Let me cut right back to the main part of the video. Alright. So yep, there you have it guys for this video. Just a quick video opening up my cars. I want to make space, uh, you know, for my collection. Not to make room for more cars, but rather I just want to... My, my room looks really cluttered. So yeah, that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this whole video. Hashtag trash. <laughs> if, all, if you're made it to the end of the video, because my table looks like trash right now. But yeah. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Hope you guys have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.